what are we doing today? Everything here, fresh out of the garden, except this. Fermentation, everybody. Come along and check it out. fermentation so I'm going to be making two different types of hot sauce so they're all going to have the basic same peppers so these orange peppers are my tangerine dream peppers so I'll split these two these are frozen picked fresh from the garden frozen solid and whole so I'll de-stem them cut them up I'm going to de-seed them as well um, I have some other peppers here and I have some more in the freezer um, just in case I need to add more to fill the jars. And I have some Serrano peppers. These are pretty hot. So we're probably going to do one of these per jar. This is going to be an onion, ginger. One of them is going to be mango. And the other one is going to be an orange. And this is a... Cara Cara orange. So it's, a, it's a special kind of orange. It's a, I think it's like pinkish inside, but we'll see. And I have uh, garden fresh carrots that I have to clean. I'm going to use some of these in the hot sauce. And then I'm going to be doing a third one of garlic and ginger carrots. I actually got the Mason Top fermentation kit. And it comes with a book right here. And we are going to be doing the ginger carrots. Sorry for the haze um, from the light. I don't know why the uh, the fluorescent, well, these are LED, but they always leave a haze there. But So I'm going to prep this stuff. I'm not going to have you watch me peel carrots and peppers, but uh, I'm going to get everything ready, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. All right, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. So I got some peppers cleaned up. I kind of got to do these in batches because I don't want to clean too many peppers and not be able to use them. So I have 378 grams of peppers. I'm hoping, actually, one of these goes to the other one. So let me take this one off because that's the hot pepper which goes in the other one. So I have 360 grams of peppers. So we're going to try to stuff these in here and see if we can get them all in here. Now, these were frozen peppers. And some people might say you can't ferment frozen peppers. Um, you can. Um, they won't kick off the fermentation process properly, which is why you need other fresh vegetables in with it. So the fruit, the onions, and the carrots being fresh will actually kick off the fermentation process. And these will go just fine. And I'm going to jam these things right in there. I'm sure I missed a few seeds. But basically I just I took everything, snipped them all out. I actually saved some seeds um, from those and from the hot peppers here. Um, those are the Serrano peppers. So if I get enough seeds, if somebody wants seeds, maybe I can uh, send you some seeds. The reason I did frozen is because I wanted these peppers. And I had to freeze them because I grew them in the summer and they wouldn't have been any good right now. These are my tangerine dream peppers. And I really wanted to make sauce with these peppers. So that's why I did some research. I reached out to somebody who actually makes hot sauce and sells it. And they told me, yes, you could actually do that with frozen peppers as long as you have some other fresh uh, either vegetables or fruit in order to kick off the fermentation process. So, that's in there. I'm going to try to jam it down a little bit more. And it doesn't matter if you squash everything because once it's all done, it's going to get ground up anyways. So I need to leave room for my weight, so that's actually going to be good. And naturally, I'm not going to have anywhere near that many peppers in here. So, I might end up emptying some of this out. And uh, 
taking out some of the onions and some of the mango so I can get some more peppers in there so it'll actually be a pepper hot sauce. But uh, okay, I did that one. So now I'm going to have to clean some more peppers for the next one. And then I'll be back. We'll make the brine. Okay, see you soon. Okay. All right, we got the rest of the peppers prepped. There's 317 grams, which I'm going to stuff those in here. And I saved a whole bunch of seeds. I'll show you the seeds that I saved. There's a seed. Get that out of there. I didn't want to have to strain the seeds after the fact, so I figured it would be just easier to do it beforehand. Actually, I'm sure, like I'm seeing here and there, I missed one here and there, but one or two is not going to hurt anything. Get them off my fingers. And uh, I should have used gloves, because uh, these are minorly spicy peppers. Those were spicy peppers. So I'm sure I'm going to have problems later with my fingers because I actually wear contacts. So that's not going to feel good. But we'll deal with it. Alright, so we got those in there. We're going to stop it down. pretty rock solid in there okay now we're gonna make the brine so I don't know how much brine I'm gonna need um, probably not a ton so I'm gonna use my quart here this is gonna be for the uh, this is going to be for the carrots, but it's got my garlic in there. So I'm just going to rinse this out a little bit. Put my carrots over there. Now you need a three and a half percent salt brine. So what we're going to do, I have my kosher salt here. Remember not to use iodized salt. You want kosher salt, other things like that. So I'm going to figure out how many grams. I'm going to zero this out. Tear that out. And I'm using filtered water. I'm going to probably, I'm going to make one of this thing pretty full. To make sure I have enough. Okay, so that's 691 grams. I'm going to multiply that. If my calculator will work. Okay, so we have 691 grams of water. So you do 691 grams of water. Multiply that by 3.5%. Gives you 24.1. So I just rounded 24 grams of salt. So, 24 grams of salt. So I'll just add that right to the water. So 691 times 24, 5, 715. So I'll just add it till it reaches that.
It doesn't have to be exact. Um, I'd rather it go over a little bit than under because you, you want to try to get at least that 3.5. Oh, there you go. So I'm uh, 0 0.001 gram over. So 717. So now we're going to let that, we're going to stir it, we're going to let it make sure it's completely dissolved. stir it and let it sit until the water is clear again then you'll make sure everything is 100% dissolved so I'm just going to stir it like that we're going to leave that sit here we're going to leave the water sit until we can tell if it's when it's clear again so it's 455 now we'll see how long it takes for it to be clear it looks like it's going pretty quick already So I'll just cut this part out so you don't have to sit there and watch. I'm not going to stop the video. So while that's sitting, I actually have the rubber self-burping tops that I washed with uh, really hot water and soap. And then I have my weights, the glass weights that are going to go inside to hold everything underneath the water. I also clean those with uh, hot water and a little bit of soap. A little bit of cloudiness there. We'll wait. And we'll mix the same brine for the carrots. I didn't do the carrots yet, but once we do the carrots, I'll mix the same brine. Um, and while we're just, uh, I'm sure we have a couple minutes here, I just wanted to show you when I save the seeds, hopefully you're going to be able to see this in the screen, any seeds that are dark in the center, just in case you don't know, um, those are no good, they won't be viable. Um, a lot of these seeds, they're wet, so as they dry out, they might also turn dark in the center, which means they're no good, but I'm sure I'll have, uh, I'll have quite a few seeds here. Um, I don't know if I'll have as many as I was hoping for, but I should have a, I should have a few. So we'll see how many seeds we have once we're all done. All right, look at that. The brine is clear. And there's nothing floating. It looks like the salt is all dissolved. So what we're going to do is fill it up. can't find my burper so since this has the salt water on it already I'm going to use this to burp I want to make sure there's no air bubbles in there for any, any bad bacteria that can hide there's a little seed Lots of air in there because there's so many different things so many different layers traps a lot of air in there
Yeah, I think I got it all out. Tapped it up a little bit. Now we're going to set our weight in there. So you're supposed to leave a little bit of space. Let me move stuff out of the way so I don't get it all wet. Um, so it doesn't overflow because it's going to burp a little bit. So I'm displacing some of the water. It's just running out on the cutting board. I'm trying to get it down in there. So there's a little bit too much water in there. So we'll probably dump a little. No. Yeah, we're going to dump a little bit out all, right, all over the countertop. I left like a, maybe a quarter inch headspace in there. Because you want to make sure that stuff stays underneath the water. So we'll see what happens with this one. I don't want to take water out unless I really have to. I'm sure I will, but yep. So that's the same way. So let me bring this over here. Squeeze some of the water out. So that's got about a quarter inch headspace on it as well. So now I am going to get a clean paper towel, get some hot water, I don't know if it really matters how hot it is because it's not actually creating, I mean it's going to seal, but it's not like a seal to where you do with canning, so you just want to make sure that no air gets in there. Because it's a rubber gasket anyways that goes on here. So we put the rubber gasket on. And we put a lid. Or a, a ring. Make sure that seals up good. I'm going to get uh, some damp paper towel so I can wipe the jars off. Because I made quite a mess. These will go sit in the cabinet. I will probably put them on a towel just in case they do leak out a little bit because I don't want it to uh, leak out and get all over the cabinet. Um, then I'm going to do the carrots. So I'm going to clean carrots. I'll bring you back. Hopefully you're still watching and uh, we'll do the carrots and I'll follow the recipe probably somewhat. All right. So I'm going to clean this mess up, get my carrots out and get ready to go. Thank you.